to take you. Me? Um, I'm taken. But hey, thanks for the offer. Okay, uh, let's start with where I was born. Who is this? You hung up on me. How did you get my number? Well, I have this modern piece of technology. It's called Redial. Look, I don't want to freak you out or anything like that. And you can hang up if you want to. It's just that, oh, you sound interesting. I like the sound of your voice. <laughs> what about your lady with the bikini? Isn't she interesting enough? Well, we just started dating. Oh, well, trip to paradise for the second date. What do you do for the third? Move in? <laughs> you sound jaded. <laughs> I mean, God, you couldn't even remember her phone number. I could probably remember yours. Uh-huh. Don't you have a plane to catch? Yeah, but I'm enjoying myself, aren't you? I told you, I'm taken. I'm not proposing to you. All I'm saying is, is that we have all these rules about who we can talk to and who we can't talk to, who we're supposed to connect with, who we're not supposed to connect with. But what if we weren't afraid to open up? Maybe we could say things or be things to someone we don't have to face, a stranger. I think you should go on the internet. <laughs> no, that's too impersonal. This, this is much more intimate. Well, you know, if I wanted to be intimate over the phone, I'd probably call 900 number. Well, you wouldn't call your boyfriend? <sighs> See, voices are easy to read. And so is laughter. And silence. You gotta take a chance once in a while. Like, let me call you again. All you gotta do is say no. I don't want you to. I got this really weird phone call last night. You did? All right, tell me when it hurts, OK? It hurt. Ow, now. Ow. You want me to stop? No. Masochist? Sadist. <laughs> Listen to me. This phone call, it was really strange. Who was it from? I don't know. Uh, some guy. Well, some guy you don't know who he was? Yeah. It was, um, <laughs> it was kind of interesting. You should have heard him. And no thanks. No, I got a crank call once in the middle of the night. I thought someone died. Yeah, my heart's racing. I'm thinking, oh my god, dad's had a heart attack. I'm already making these funeral arrangements. And then this guy is on the phone telling me what he's gonna do to me. Really? What was he gonna do to you? Well, use your imagination. Hmm. <laughs> Hello? Hi, sweetie. It's Cliff. How are you? I'm okay. Hey, you back? Not yet. Well, you don't have to keep checking up on me, Cliff. I know. Fine. Then I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Look, I said you don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. Is this a bad time to talk? You want me to call you back? I really don't care what you do. <laughs> sure you do. Come on, you didn't like talking to me? Not really. Oh, come on now. I heard laughter in your voice, and I didn't hear that a second ago, did I? I mean, I know you probably weren't moping around waiting for me to call, but you liked our conversation, didn't you? Maybe I did. <laughs> See, now, now we're getting somewhere. Look, I'm gonna have to call you back tomorrow. Something's come up. Working late, Connor? You know me. 